The mining minister, Musabenze Zwane, uh, he uh, insisted that current safety laws would be respected. Now, that, of course, follows an uproar from some companies that unnecessary safety stoppages, uh, they call them, and so they're costing them millions. At the same time, Anglo-America's uh, CEO, Mark Kutifani, took a swipe at the notion of white monopoly capital. The attendance numbers are up at this year's Indaba, suggesting some promise for the economy. Despite its declining trend over the decades, mining contributed 7 per cent to economic growth in 2015 and employs close to 460,000 people. The mining minister, who wants a focus on junior miners this year, has been caught up in a tit-for-tat dispute over safety stoppages. Section 54 suspends operations if it is believed mine workers are at risk, resulting in major losses. But the minister says safety first. The department will continue to enforce the legislation consistently, and I have full confidence in the officials who administer these laws. While the minister said doors are always open and talks on regulation laws would continue, a dark cloud of uncertainty remains over the Mineral and Petroleum Resources Development Act. It's hardly moved since been published four years ago. The mining industry has to have regulatory certainty and predictability in order for it to invest. Because at the end of the day, capital is unsentimental. It will go where the best investment opportunities are. Anglo-American CEO Mark Utifani took a swipe at the notion of white monopoly capital. Black South Africans own more than 45 per cent of our South African mining assets. If people want to talk transformation and see transformation, come to Anglo-American. While we are the first to acknowledge that we have a long way to go, let no one mislead you on the facts. If we're going to have a debate, let's talk about the facts and the truth. Investors and industry players here largely have a common message, reinvigorate the promise of mining. But it's easier said than done if differences on policy remain unresolved. What is clear, though, is that if the resolution is not near, South Africa could miss out on another potential commodity boom. Devon Murrigan, SABC News, Cape Town.